they got to bear hug this thing to pick it up for you guys. I think like that, and they're like, oh, oh, it's so heavy. I gotta get it. I'm knocking down flowers. You know, I was just having this discussion with Chris, my last few videos. You know, the sword video should be up by now, but when I was looking at myself in that video, I'm like, dude, I, I've, I've gotten fat. I've gotten so into doing these videos for you guys, I forgot about my health. I kind of got in trouble with my doctor, so I told Chris, it's time for me to get back in shape, man. So it's been a couple of weeks now since that video. So I should look a little bit better, try to stay healthy for you guys, and do more sets anyway to review for you guys. So what's up? Welcome back to Break Me Up, Scotty. I'm Scotty, how are you watching? Bemis. Today, we're looking at something huge. Huge. Okay, I didn't expect this set to be that big. So what we're looking at is from Real Bricks. This is the Royal Bay 66013, 4,168 pieces. Big yo. They actually have a second one called the Pirate Bay, which I have not yet started. It is here. Chris wanted me to do this one first because he's like, this one looks crazy good. So here it is. This is absolutely huge. That one is actually half the size of this. So that one should be done pretty soon. Hopefully when this video is done, I'll get up for you. Thank you so much for supporting me, my channel, my store, breakmeupsky.com. Thank you for all your support. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, so I'm bringing more. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers, almost. What am I gonna do when we get to 10,000? Should I go live? Yeah, live stream for once. What do you think, Chris? Live, live shooting. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell I'm gonna say on camera, man. That would be really scary. Anyway, 10,000, and as someone mentioned, 10,000 if I do, if I can do the Pamela's Chinatown sets. We're at what, 9,100 by now. Okay, I got time. I'll go order the other Chinatown sets. At 10,000, we'll try to do the whole Chinatown series for you. I might let you guys down, I don't know. Okay, back to the set. Let's look at the manual first. So I'm gonna kinda just ship this guy over. That was another discussion I had with Chris. Should I drop this thing? You don't wanna be carrying this thing around, man. This thing was crazy to bring to the office. Anyway, let me show you the book. I do not have the box here. I imagine the box will be pretty big. But look how rich this book looks. Now, I like how Real Bricks is going very thin with their manual. But it makes a really huge problem and Chris hasn't seen this yet. I'll show you a page. They squeeze so much. He's looking at me like, some of you might actually might need to use a magnifying glass to look at where you're supposed to put the pieces. It's so small. They try to save space by just like, you know, I get it. They're trying to make everything a little bit smaller, but some of you might be okay. It was hard for me to look at some of the pieces, man. I'm like squinting at this thing. Maybe, maybe I'm just getting old. Uh, the good news is from my last real brick fishing video, I told you like I was complaining about the brick color. For some reason, or maybe it's because there's not too many shades of gray on this one. The difference between the two gray colors was actually a lot easier to do. And as far as the total build goes, it was fine to put together. Now, there is a downfall to the set. They try to promote this thing to be like a thing that can open up, but that does have a problem. But here, we'll slide this back out here, and we'll just look at the front first. You'll see everything along the way. The most awesome thing about the set is that there are no stickers. Those are all prints on the windows and all the little decorations. Great. If you're looking for interior play or like really lavish details, you know, you might be thinking, well, this is like a, what is this is like a park, castle, fort, seaside, Lord of the Rings, minister type looking thing. I thought it was actually pretty cool. I think this actually looks better in person than it does in book. But anyway, if you're looking for like dining hall, uh, you know, bedrooms with massive amount of beds in here for the soldiers. There's nothing in the set, man. I'm telling you right now, very bare minimum on the inside. It's all about the outside. So you're gonna see everything here and decide for yourself whether you like it. Don't think about the interiors. It's not gonna be any. Real Bricks does the whole thing with the water plates. Those can actually pop off pretty easily. So we're carrying this thing around. I'll try to pick it up for you guys later. And man, I'm just scared to drop this thing. We're discussing that too. Should we drop this thing or not? I might have to, but I gotta figure out how to pick it up first. Flimsy on the bottom. I know you guys love the word flimsy. Flimsy set. Uh, it's not that bad, but anyway, the rocks, the little bit of plants here on the side, the look, the curve as it's hitting up. I think that actually looks really good. 
and it almost looks Persian, like right, like Prince of Persia. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah right, like that style, like Arabian Aladdin, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, someone mentioned that too. Like it's got this Aladdin feel to it. Yeah. It does, right? This is for your Arabian Nights, and I dig that, man. Now it's got a really cool feature on the first floor. The set has loads of cannons. I don't know why they had to do it like that, but I guess it's kind of cool. Now these pieces here can pop out, but it kind of catches on sometimes. So I have to be just a little bit careful. I had to like jiggle it a little bit. It might pop off, but if I go like that, there you go. You got two cannons right there. And then the other side as well. I have to try to see if I can feel it here. I can't even, it's so big, man. It's covering my whole, almost covering the whole table there. You got two cannons. So these panels can pop off easy, but it's very easy to pop back on there. So you got four cannons right there. You're thinking, yeah, that's enough cannons, man. You only needed two. But no, they went like, no, we got to put more cannons. So these ones can open up here. This is going to catch again. So I pull it down. There we go. Put this one down here on this side. Yeah, you got another cannon there. And even on this side, let's see how many more cannons here. Another one here, like that there. This opens up. Oh, without destroying it. Look at that. Isn't that incredible? No one's going to be able to come in this castle. So there's only one cannon here and they can actually rotate. So all the cannons are on a rotatable plate thingy and you can rotate the ones on the side, but you're going to have to take the walls down or move them first, pop them off and then put them back on, depending on what position you want them to shoot like that or like that. But that is crazy, right? That is so good. Okay. I love that idea. Good concept, but you still have to be careful when you're putting it all back together here, here. I'm doing this all by touch and feel. I can't even see the front of this thing, man. There, there. These two are the most flimsiest ones. They will catch on. Oh, see? Just came off like that. But it is an easy fix, so. Let me just do this real fast. Put this one back in here. You just pull these pieces out there. Let's see, like that. Okay. The prints are really, really good. Thank goodness. If those were stickers, I probably would have sucked putting those on, but I like the blue window and I like the gold trim. It's not really gold, but the vibe is actually really cool. It makes this place look super rich. You got like a little balcony here and a little balcony on the second floor. You can't get to them. Your figure's just gonna have to climb on these things. Got a little lion head on the top there and even more cannons on the top floor. There's two on the front there. But the whole look and the design was actually pretty stable. I was actually pretty scared putting this whole thing together. I'm like, oh man, things are gonna fall apart on me. And no, it wasn't that bad, man. This part was actually pretty okay. So this is the side, one of them. It mirrors on the other side as well. There are subtle differences on both sides. It did not feel repetitive. For some reason I was like, oh, this is gonna feel almost the same. It was a little bit different. I mean, the gate part that you see there, it's more or less the same, but everything else, like the rock formations, it just changed it up just slightly, slightly a bit. And I really didn't feel like, oh man, I'm gonna repeat myself doing this over and over until you get to the top floors. But anyway, the gate is, was a really cool idea. And it functions too. On the back here, there's some chains that you can pull a piece down. If I pull it in, go like, open, let your boat come in. What size boat will fit in there? The canoe, maybe from the sunken Titanic. They could probably get like a couple of smaller boats in there with your figures. And by the way, the set comes with no figures, no accessories, no boats. It would have been nice to see in a boat with this one. I guess they gave you three boats for the fishing store. So just use that one for this. But I like this feature, man. I like the design of this and how it goes up and down. That was actually pretty cool to put together. And it is the same on the other side. But yo, that's just fun to do. The only thing is just nothing to hold it down when you pull it all the way back because it's just on a chain there. I guess you can like hang it on something or put it on the top here. Uh, whatever, man. But anyway, most important thing is you got this cool looking gate. When you put it down, it might get a little bit lopsided. Just make sure it's centered there. And look at the windows, the crosses. Yeah, I like that design. All the lion heads along the wall. They put these little gold pipes there. It kind of gives it like a steampunk vibe. Lots of variation on the bricks and the design. I like it, man. I think it's actually pretty cool. If I swing it to the back here. This almost looks like a church. Now, for some odd reason, this area here, it looks like it's incomplete. That's one thing with real bricks that I realized, like sometimes they look a little bit incomplete and I am missing one small piece here that popped off 
somewhere in this room. I was too lazy to get it. But anyway, it's more or less the same there. And maybe I put some wrong pieces when I brought the set down into the office in different positions. But who cares? You can't even tell. I can't even tell. You remember the lost church I reviewed? Selling Chris, this is like a giant version of that lost church. The lost church, we'll go check it out. It's pretty fun. Fragile too. Splits open. This set also splits open. So the idea is that you can open it. There's nothing that's holding it down. So now you can see it. And how am I going to carry this? How are you going to carry this thing? Look at that. It opens like that, like a crazy set. See how big it is now? It's taking up majority of the table here. But they want you to do this and then connect the pirate bay on the back side of this. But it won't really connect to get, I sure hope it doesn't actually like link to the other one. But it wants to make a big circle. So you have the pirate bay on that side and you have this on this side. But splitting this apart, as you can see, there's no base plate. Uh, it gets very flimsy when you're trying to carry this whole thing around, right? You gotta use two hands. You can do it, I can do it. When I brought it here to the office, it all totally fell apart because everything just got loosened up. I, I don't know, man. It's kind of crazy, it's cool. I love the concept that you can do this. My son, Tyler, five years old, he actually really loves to play with this thing. He's already like, Daddy, can you bring it back? Are you finished with it yet? I'm like, I'm not gonna bring the whole thing back, but I think he just likes the gate part. So I'm gonna like, just take the gate part and bring it back home when I'm done with this review. But this feature is pretty cool. It's nice for that you can actually go in there. I guess you're gonna get the set and play with it, right? Pirates, put your boats, we put it on display, I'm sure it looks amazing. If I bring it back to the front, before I do, let me just show you the slides so you can see here. That, that is a mirror of the other side. The colors of the rocks might look a little bit different. And you got a little bit of aesthetic changes on this side of the wall. But if I were to put it here like this, reopen the front here and go like that. Come and get me now, man. This is my protection. I'm gonna fire the cannon at you. And all the cannons do have springs in them so you can load it up and just fire pieces at each other. And it has a bunch of ammunition on the top as well. So this is where it kind of mirrors. Everything looks the same. So on the back here, you have two lookout towers. The towers can come off. There's nothing inside, they do have ladders, but I like the fact that, yeah, they kind of made it like very easy to access inside. There's nothing in there, man. Yeah. This pretty plain so i guess this really is for an outlook set just to you got to just fill it up yourself man easy to put back on i don't even know if that's the right way to am i doing this the right way like that this tower is exactly the same you got a little flag pole here printing on the flag poles nice crown there i'm so glad they didn't use stickers and it doesn't look like too tacky it looks pretty okay those end pieces on both sides on the bottom parts it's really plain, there's nothing there. And again, it just kind of looks a little bit unfinished. Then we come to the middle part here. And that's unfortunate, when it's all opened up like this, you can't put more pieces or you have to like make a shape of a triangle to kind of add all, more water pieces to it. So that's kind of, that might kind of throw you off a little bit. But I like how it's over water. Both sides do mirror each other. There are a couple of lamp posts there. The lamps will pop off on you. They popped off on me several times. And you got this little, side area with the ladders that go up for your guys to look over the tower. Just like Lord of the Rings, man. The orcs are coming. Then on the back, lots of decoration. I really like those prints and the lion heads there. Very gaudy looking. It's got a couple windows there. That's nice. And you can kind of see the bottom. You can see where you're supposed to dock your boat and go up. Now, does it come off easily? We'll start with the top first. Let's see if it can take it off easy. Look how easy that comes off, yes. Okay, the thing I did not like also is when you're building each floor, it's really flimsy, like it bends and flexes. Flimsy, again, that word. This one does come off easy too, but same deal. The good news is once you put the walls up, everything is pretty stable. Boy, this room's very exciting. They have two towers here. For some reason, they're held on by like pins. So I'm gonna see if I can feel it here. I don't know why they had to do it like this, but you're supposed to pull this pin out. There's one here. And oh, there's one on the, on the inside. You guys can't see it. I'll show it to you later if you can see it. And one here, and you're supposed to take these parts out. You don't actually have to put the pin there. You can just go like this, just rest it and sit it on top. I think it's fine. But for your safety, they have little pins to hold these down. I'll take that out. I'll take this side out here. Here's one section just to show you. You saw earlier how this opens up here like that. 
I'm gonna open them here and here. And just to show you, yeah, so you can move. This, this is actually a pretty genius idea. You can slide the cannon out like that. So they put these pieces on here and then you can rotate this piece like that and then shift the cannon to be on this side. There, like that. See? And all they have is a staircase there. So both are exactly the same. So I don't have to show you the other side. Now let's show you the inside on the first floor. You can see where those cannons are, the four of them, so many cannons. So there's actually a really funny feature here. Even though there's like nothing here, this platform piece can open up. Not weird. I'm not quite sure why they did that. I guess they want you to be able to go in there, open this up, and like really be able to play with this set. That's the whole idea, right? If you walk along the plank down there, there's only a treasure chest on one side. There's nothing inside, no accessories. And there's a box and bucket on the other side. And that's it, man. There's nothing down there. So you gotta really just use whatever existing set you have if you wanna decorate this. So just know that this is very plain as far as the set goes. It's just all of an outlook for me, right? So the platform can go back down here like that. And that's it. So now, go to the staircase and you go up to the next floor. Slide this here. So you ready for the second floor when you go up the staircase? What do you see? Nothing. Nothing in there. That's it. Chris is so happy. We can shoot this real fast. Oh, you got a staircase in the center there. It's, and it's really crazy because it's one of those ones where it's like, cool. what? Really cool. What? Oh, you like that, huh? No. You can fold it up and be like, no, no staircase. I'll be like, staircase. Yeah. That's it though. There ain't nothing here. On the outside here, there's another little tower here. That's kind of interesting. But all these things, these parts, they pop up in, right? So it's a whole thing where it's, it's loose, flimsy. Oh, get it back in here. Got to shove it up. I kind of wish there was a little bit more support underneath. So I go like that. So it, it can be a little bit loose on that part. None of the windows fold down. They need a more cannons, man, for this floor. But anyway, that's the second floor for you. That's it. And it goes with the gold side facing in and the balconies facing out. We'll stick this back here. Oh, it fits on nice, which is really good. So it's not like the other one where it's like, oh, I'm going to hesitate putting everything on. Is it going to suck? Is the thing going to fall off like that? That was just the lantern. Then it goes up here. Nope, everything's pretty secure. I'm pretty happy with this, the way it's built. So there are some downsides to the set. They're not that bad. It's just a little different. This is the last floor right here. And by far the loosest parts, just because not much support going on there. You only have the outer walls and you got more cans there, boxes of ammunition. And they're kind of like, it looks like they half assed the rail in the inside, like they didn't put anything, no covers, no nice decorations. It's just kind of like sticking pieces there. Okay, you got a little cover on the top here that is pretty spacey on the inside, but once the pieces are on there, it is pretty secure. And there's the flag on the top there, the printing on it with the parrots. I like his gradient color, it's kind of nice. And finally over here, by swinging back here, there is a little pulley system there. Kind of cool how they made that. Doesn't really work that great, but it, it works. And one thing is the set didn't come with a string. I'm like, where's my string? Either I lost a string or they just really forgot to put it on your set. You're gonna have to find a string somewhere else. I got this from my Booty Bay Pirate Ship set. I just threw it on here real fast to show you the review. And I don't know, maybe that should pick up some extra ammo from down below. That is the third floor for you guys. I'm gonna see if I can pick this up for you guys because this is my job. So you have one palm underneath the main section like that. One palm, or your other hand, see? It's like this thing's gonna open up and be like, dude, this is gonna be like hell to pick up. I'm using my finger, that's like dangerous, man. I gotta feel a plant falling off. Okay. There, and it's gonna bend, and it's going to flex. Chris, Chris is looking at me like so terrified. Imagine me dropping this thing. I guess we're gonna have to drop it, man. Chris is like, yes. Yes or no? What do you guys think? Let me let me let me take a screenshot of this right now. I'm gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna put this picture on my community page. So you guys are gonna decide for me. But Chris is gonna take a picture of his phone right now. I'm gonna say, should I drop this? Do you guys want me to really drop this one? Yes or no? 
<laughs> okay, dimensions. Okay, I got this back down. Oh, man. This is scary, man. Okay, I'll lift up the side a little bit. Oh, I got it in there. This is how you measure things up, yo. Hey, that's actually kind of crazy. I can tell you right now, it's exactly on two base plates. So what, that's like 64, 64 studs in length. Okay, by width, it is about 50. So you're looking at 64 by 50. Big boy. Let's see how high this sucker is. Okay, it's time to break out your one by four bricks. This thing is tall because of the flag. Now I'm gonna put it like here and it's a little bit, it might be a little bit taller because it's not directly on the floor. Put it on the plate, it might be, or shorter, I don't know. Anyway, it's estimated around there if you have your one by four bricks, that is around 50 bricks in height. Well, I can drop a lot lower if you don't need the flag. You can always put this one down here. You can take the cover off. You can take the first floor off. You can take the second floor off. And you make this thing shorter. Anyway, there you go. That's your dimensions. All right, you guys, the video has been completed. It's been about a week since I posted in my community on YouTube, ask, asking you guys if I should drop this set or not on Instagram too. Boy, oh boy, it was really close. I was so happy when I didn't have to drop it, but guess what? Out of 139 votes, Oh, now 9,000 of you subscribed to me and only 130 of you voted, 40 of you voted, man. Well, 55% of you said yes, drop it. 45% said no. So guess what? I've got to drop this thing right now. Oh shit. Boy, I was actually terrified. Surprisingly, everything has stood fine, except for this piece, which flew off. So I'm gonna take that off. And let's just see how it looks if I took off, if I take off each floor one by one. This is okay. Oh, that part of the floor inside. This floor is a-okay. Oh, the tower just finally had to go. That's fine, that's easy. We saw that fall off earlier. Thank goodness these use Technic pieces to hold it down. If I spin it here and open it up. Oh, oh, this is not too bad. This is supposed to come off. I can see like some of the plates need to be kind of reinforced and pushed back down. Guess what you guys? It's, I can't believe this thing survived. Maybe I didn't hold it high enough, but no, I don't want to hold it too high, man. This thing would probably just shatter but everything's inside is totally fine. There's nothing inside to drop. Oh, the cannon kind of came loose on one of the turning parts, but hey, there you go. Yes, easy to tidy this one up. Let's move on to the next video. So there you guys go. That's was real bricks, real big, crazy set. If you want to show off and be like, look, mommy, my castle is going to kick your castle's ass. And this set is for you because it's just, it is actually super fun. There are some cons. I mentioned that before in forums and people are like, oh, I don't want to buy it because of that. It's actually not that bad. You definitely need room for this. Definitely don't want to really pick it up, build it in one spot and keep it there. But it is kind of fun. You know, let's see what it looks like with the pirate bay. You know, I'll leave that to you guys if you want me to do that or not. But I don't have to do it. It's sitting here in pieces. I don't need to build that one. I can relax and just do other small itty bitty sets. You want me to do it? All right, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe so I can. It means a lot to me. Thank you so much. Until next time, you guys. Bring me out. <laughs> Shit, dear, I forgot all about you. That's okay. Just leave me in the corner here to cry. <laughs> Go in the hole. Go in my fun hole. Where is it? Okay, there we go.